um, so like literally I recorded, um, I recorded an eight minute video on Windows Movie Maker because I wanted to do this fast. Fucking Movie Maker. I hate that fucking program. It didn't record, it recorded like the first minute. So, uh, you know, I'm, the whole video, like the entire length of the video was lost. You know, the only thing I got was like, hey, how's it going, kind of thing at the beginning. Let me throw this bottle away. Um, so what I want to do, what I was talking about in the other video, uh, in which I was, be I was, like the whole idea that I had in the other video that I talked about forever and it got erased, um, is that I, I was never one to keep diaries, um, when I was little. And uh, I kind of regret doing that because I wish that I had more, um, what's the word? Wish I had more nostalgic items from my childhood. Is that the right word? Nostalgic, nostalgia. I think it is. Because um, <clears throat> I was going through some old yearbooks when I was in junior high and like reading all the comments and stuff from people and I don't know. You know, kind of get reminiscent of it. You know, maybe I'm having a midlife crisis. I don't know. I don't know. Is that what it feels like? Maybe. Maybe it is. But I was thinking that with this new era of interaction that we have, it would be kind of neat to keep, like, a video diary sort of... Not like, not like current video diary. Not like vlogging now. But maybe vlogging about growing up and telling stories and, and memories that I have of growing up on, on here and then saving the videos as well on another disc, you know, for family and friends or, you know, whatever down the road, um, you know, before I forget about them. Um, you know, when I was growing up, uh, my childhood was I don't know. I guess it, you could say it was odd. It wasn't a bad childhood. It was just a very odd childhood. Um, I don't want to make it sound like I was a freak or anything like that, but I was very much a loner. And I had maybe two or I would say a good two to four close friends through the duration of like my early teens up until maybe, you know, 17, 18 years old. So maybe for like four or five years, I I was really much you know I kept to myself and stuff, and then I uh, met a big group of people and and that kind of changed my life a little bit and you know I think the videos are more for me, okay I do appreciate you guys watching, of course both my channels if you watch both and I do appreciate your comments, um, I do realize that a lot of people here on YouTube are in it for the fame or they're in it for whatever, but I'm just here having fun, you know, if people, you know, want to get on here and make a career out of it, that's fine, but I am just here to have fun, and I want to sh do these videos to allow myself to open up and talk about some of the things that happened to me when I was younger, and I don't want to edit them and, and make them, you know, like, super funny, I don't want to edit them and make them something that, you know, somebody's going to stick on another website for views or whatever, I just want to talk about it, you know, that's what I want to do. So I'm thinking that I am probably going to start doing those videos very soon, and they're going to be on this channel, uh, because, I don't know, uh, this channel is a little bit more personal to me, like, I, don't get me wrong, I love my main channel, I love it, I love getting on there and interacting and being able to share and help people and, you know, have fun over there, but over here on this channel, I feel like... I don't have to do something, you know, extra big. I don't have to, you know, be energetic. I don't have to get on the camera and, you know, laugh and smile or whatever. Because over there, even when I make, like, a rant video about something that bothers me, you know, I get all these, these comments and feedback, you know, oh, you're being so negative, you're being so negative. And, you know, no bullshit. You know, there's websites like YouTube drama and stuff like that. You know, I kind of laugh about those things. It's just... You know, who really cares? I mean, really. 
you know, I could go on and on about the people that, that, you know, do videos for that website or whatever, but ultimately that website helps the people that it's trying to hurt because it gives exposure to people. It's sort of like being featured on the front page of YouTube in a way because um, regardless of what's said about people on that website, it draws people to their channels. So, you know, stuff like that just kind of brush you off your shoulders. When the haters come after me and the sock puppets leave comments and stuff, they think they're hurting me. And, you know, sometimes they say stuff that bothers me, but most of the time it's, you know, it's not like it's keeping me up at night or anything like that. But, you know, on that channel, I kind of expect that. Over here, this channel is so intimate that I feel like, you know what, I'm just going to do these videos over here because, um, you know, regardless of whether or not people find it or they don't find it or it gets five views or it gets 500 views, I don't care, you know. I'm doing these these videos for me, you know, these nostalgic videos of my childhood for me. Um, and if you guys want to come on the trip with me, you're more than welcome. Uh, like I said, it's not going to be anything fancy. And uh, they'll probably be long. And they might even get boring in some parts. So, just be warned. Anyway, I um, didn't really have an idea tonight to cut on the camera. And look, I talked for a while. So, you know, I don't know. I'm going to expand on the ideas about people that, you know, get on YouTube for fame. And some of the debates that go on. And some of the anger that people have. Because I'm actually fascinated now by the interaction on YouTube and how it works. So uh, it might even be a little bit offensive to some people or it might be interesting. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, as always, I love you guys, um, especially the people that come over here and watch me because um, it just shows that you're really interested in me and you're interested in hearing what I have to say and that means a lot to me. So um, I'm going to get some sleep and I will see you guys next couple days. Keep it moving.